Whoa, look at that. Holy crap. So you can get it up to 48 slots, it looks like. Dude, that's awesome. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your living ships because it's really awesome. It's a new feature that was introduced in No Man's Sky Endurance, and it's pretty awesome. So the first thing you got to do is you need a living frigate. So let me manage my fleet. You need a living frigate. So you go to manage fleet. I have two right now. And you need an organic vessel because when you send these out on missions, on freighter missions, they have a possibility of bringing back upgrades for your living ships. If you don't know how to get your organic living frigate, I have a video linked down below in the description and the pinned comment that will show you how to get one of those. But once you do, send them out on missions and so i would say come over here to the navigator now this is kind of a time consuming thing so get ready for that let's go to view potential expeditions and you want to send them out on the longest ones you can get because the more light years they're out there the more likely they are to bring back upgrades for your living ship it's never a guarantee it's a randomized event but if you send it out for a really short one for five hours it might bring one back, it might not bring one back, but you really increase your chances when you go on a longer journey, like this one for 28 hours, I would definitely do that. So let me put this one, that, and th remember, that is real life time. So that's literally 28 hours in real life. So I'm definitely gonna be sending that guy out. And eh, maybe I'll send both of them out just to make sure that way they don't get hurt on the way back. So you need to send them out. You send in, you know, upgrade modules. This just helps them on their way if you have any of these. Not necessary, but it helps. See, it says plus 10 trading. That way you can get a little bit more even better items when they bring it back. And we're going to launch expedition. Done. And so now they're gone, and they will be gone for 28 hours. And literally, they're gone for 28 hours. But once you've done that, you can go back over to a control panel. And you need to have one of these in your freighter because... You need a control panel to, like, uh, basically run down their mission to make sure they're doing okay. So once they've come back, you can talk to them. But right now, I just sent them out, so they're not going to be able to go. I sent out my freaking, uh... Oh, I sent out the Normandy! Dang it! <laughs> I didn't send out my organics. That's okay, though. You want to only send out your organic ship. I sent out my Normandy because I wasn't paying attention. But if you connect to the ship a VI, Virtual Intelligence, you can inspect them. And it tells you, hey, look, literally, look at that. It's counting down the seconds. 27 hours, 9 minutes, 44 seconds. So they are going to be gone for a while. I can't believe I sent out my Normandy. I wasn't even paying attention. You want to only send out your organic ships. Anyway, once you've done that, you will start getting stuff back. And so you'll start getting spawning sacks. This gives you extra inventory in your living ship and your psychotic eggs. This will actually give you uh, upgrades to your living ship so i have a few of them as you can tell don't ask me how i did that it's on the download don't ask me how but you need to be in your living ship for it to actually uh take effect so we need to go down to our hangar and go to our living ship let's go do that i gotta remember where my living ship is where are you buddy where are you the purple people eater is around here somewhere i know you are where are you you are? Seriously, where are you? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I had to call him in. All right, I'm going to call him in. Purple people eater. Done. No? Oh, there you are. Over there. All right, so this is my living ship. It's purple because purple is the best color. So once you get in, you're good to go. So, yeah, you see, it's not really, you know, not really organized. I have, you know, I have some stuff here. I have some inventory, but I'm going to improve it even more. So, let's hatch the storage egg. And there you go. So now it'll give you more storage. So the storage sacks, the storage egg, will give you more storage in your inventory. So let's see how big we can get it. Whoa, look at that. Holy crap. So you can get it up to 48 slots, it looks like. Dude, that's awesome. And then the storage sacks. This is, oh my God, this is unable to spawn. What is going on here? 
Let's do this again. There you go. So it's going to be a little bit buggy right now. So you might have to back out and go back in to... Unable to spawn there. Okay, fine. Right here. We're going to go into the inflated sacks. This is like your cargo. Oh, my God. So I have my... This is my tech inventory. This is my tech. So I have my general. My storage sacks are in here. This is my tech inventory. Oh, my God. And then... This is my uh, cargo, my inflated sack. <laughs> it's going to get a little weird. All right. So let's do it again. I have a little bit more, so let's try it again. Alien error. Okay, so we can't go anywhere beyond that. All right. So it might be a bug. Again, they are fixing this, but that's generally what the uh, inventory sacks do. The spawning sacks will do your inventory. But what about these psychotic eggs? Let's see what they do. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Wormhole brain implant? Evolve? Oh, what is... I've never done this, guy. so this is the first time. Wormhole brain. What does this do? Sentient vessel node? The wormhole brain permits the ship's vision of systems far beyond its own experience. It consists of strands of neural matter wrapped around a micro-singularity. So this is your economy and conflict scanner right here for your uh, living ship. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. Oh, what is this? We have a coroplast membrane. This is the uh, recharge the neural assembly. Oh, okay, automatically when exposed to sunlight. So this is basically like your pulse drive. Okay, no, no, this is your launch. Okay, your launch drive right here. Your launch thruster right there. Okay. Oh, dude, you get randomized stuff. I love it. Neural assembly. Look at that. It gives you randomized. Let's do a whole bunch of these. Yeah, it is totally random because I'm getting C's, I'm getting B's, I'm getting A's, I got a couple of S's. So it'll just give you all the upgrades for your living ship. Oh man, okay. Oh, I already have a whole bunch of those. Okay. Whoa, shield recharge on impact, 122. Heat dispersion. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. We are going to be uh, going through all of this. All right, so we're going to put this in our general just because we can do it again you can do only three remember but you can do three in your your organ chamber your technology and three in your general dude this is insane and it's all let's see can i do a couple of these <laughs> i have a brain what is this a beautiful living weave of nanotubes laced through the vessels as neural assembly the structure can be energized as the ship deems fit, creating a field that blocks. Oh, this is basically your cargo. Whenever they do a scan, this is blocking the scan. That way they can't tell what you have. Okay. I'm getting some alien errors here. All right, let's go through a couple more. Okay. And so, yeah, they will just give you some randomized um, upgrades. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting a whole bunch of upgrades. Jeez. Okay. So that is how you get your upgrades now. So instead of looking for a melody egg, you're looking for uh, these awesome sacks that come from your freighter missions. Make sure to send out organic frigates on freighter missions and you will get a whole bunch of upgrades. Good Lord, I'm about to go through and get some really good upgrades here. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and I will see you guys next time.